Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to install Docker on Ubuntu 18.04 operating system. Let's get started with the installation steps. Uh, open your browser and type uh, Docker install. Okay, install Docker. So when you type install Docker, so uh, there will be a documentation from uh, Docker web website itself. So just uh, look into the the second hyperlink where it says. Uh, a link called Ubuntu. So this is install Docker and it says here Ubuntu. There are uh, multiple steps to install Docker on different operating system. So first we are going to look into how to install on the Ubuntu operating system. Okay, uh, click that uh, link. So the, you will open with this uh, kind of link. So basically uh, Docker comes with the two uh, flavor. One is the community edition, uh, Docker engine for community edition and Docker engine for enterprise edition. So we are going to uh, go with the community edition, which is a uh, free. So scroll down a bit. So you will have a install Docker uh, engine community. So first we are going to install using the repository. So what you need to do is just uh, uh, do the uh, sudo app get update on your uh, Ubuntu operating system. So open a terminal, okay, and type uh, sudo apt uh, get update. So once you type this, so it will uh, ask you. Uh, if the you sudo password, just enter the password. Then it starts installing the uh, some of the update your uh, uh, probably the Ubuntu uh, <coughs> repository. So once this is done, so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, install uh, the HTTP uh, uh, the HTTP uh, yes uh, kind of uh, packages so that you can actually do the. Uh, uh, get the repository from the uh, remote network right so and also if you want to use a wcat or those th type of uh, things we need a, this uh, uh, these are the package we need actually right so what you are going to do is uh, you just run this command in your terminal copy this command so it is a sudo uh, apt get install and uh, all this uh, commands okay curl command everything okay so basically we are going to use the curl command so that's why we are inst installing this so uh, run this on your command prompt. So it will start installing the stuff. So once this is installed, or next step is what you are going to do is we are going to uh, add a Docker official GPG key. Okay, to run that you have to uh, to get the GP key, add the GP key to the uh, Ubuntu. You need to run this curl command. Okay, you copy this uh, curl command from the uh, uh, here, and then uh, go to the command prompt and run this. So then uh, once you add the GP, a, a GPG key, verify it. How do you verify? There is a command to verify it. So that's what it is given. So sudo app get fingerprint, just give this ID, which is there in the, the previous step we saw that right? in the, the documentation itself, that ID is given. So once you've done that, so it is uh, uh, verified. So now in the next step is, uh, we need to actually um, add the Docker repository. So uh, so basically you can actually uh, set this uh, 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 docker repository so that the stable version of the docker docker would be installed okay so i'm going to get the stable version of the uh, uh, docker engine and i'm going to install it so you can actually specify the version also you want to install it that we'll see in the uh, next command okay you just uh, run this command copy this command and run it on the terminal so once you run this you are uh, uh, stable version will be added here docker stable version you see here it is getting all getting added here okay so after this what we are going to do is basically again you update the uh, the <coughs> ubuntu uh, uh, repository how do you update it basically package index how do you update it uh, sudo apt get update uh, so this will update the index uh, ubuntu index right so just run it on the command line once this is finished now we are going to install the uh, the Ubuntu, uh, sorry, the Docker, uh, uh, the engine. Okay, so to uh, uh, install that, this is a command sudo apt get install Docker uh, C, which is a community edition, Docker CCLI, and the container D, uh, which is a uh, 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 the container daemon, which is a container D dot IO. So, install all this. Uh, 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 demons using the uh, apt get command run this so it will ask you to 
specify yes because it's going to consume some uh, space in your hard disk so it say yes uh, say press y and uh, continue so once this is done so installation docker installation is done right so uh, this is done right uh, now uh, what we are going to do is uh, basically you can check the uh, version of the doctor which is installed so you can for that you just type docker uh, uh, space hyphen v you can run that command as well or actually you can also uh, run the command called uh, 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 docker space hyphen hyphen version so this also will give the version so i installed the latest version which is 19.0.3.5 uh okay so as on uh, uh 29th december 2019 right so and also there is another command called docker info uh, just to get the information about the docker which is we installed docker engine uh, when you run this you get a permission error because uh, uh, we need to provide a sudo followed by docker info command because actually when you install a docker docker will create a group called docker under that group the initially by default there won't be any user right only group will be created so if you want to uh, use a command without sudo docker command without sudo com sudo keyword so you can add your user to the docker group so that you don't need to specify the sudo right now i did not add it so i'm just providing a sudo followed by docker info which will give this uh, all this uh, basic information of the docker we installed so what is the kernel version and uh, what is the docker version which is installed i think it will be in the top so right so next thing is what you are going to do is you are going to verify whether the docker install is working fine so for that what we do we have to we are going to run the docker image there is a all over docker image okay just to verify the uh, whether the docker installation is proper so uh, it's going to print the it's the docker image is just going to print the uh, the text message right so for that you just type a, a command called sudo docker space run followed by all over world right so once you run this see it is going to uh, do like this so unable to find a image uh, all over world colon uh, basically is a image name colon the tag name which is the latest so initially it is looking for the local uh, image uh, uh, what do you say image repository or uh, uh, store but it's not available in the locally so it is going to get it from the docker hub docker hub is a place where all your uh, uh, it's open it's open source right so basically all your free images will be on the uh, docker uh, hub so even you can actually build a docker image and push it in the uh, docker hub. but you need to create a docker account for that it is free only so basically what it does is it's actually looked for the local but it's not available so it is downloaded from the docker by internet so you actually there is a message you see here allow from the docker this is the message it is proper but also it is saying what are the things it has done so basically this is a doc when you use the docker it is nothing but a, uh, when you say docker run under the image name we are using the docker client command line client okay so that docker client contacted the docker demand which is actually the kind of uh, 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 brain for our uh, docker docker demon so docker demon pull the hello world image from the docker hub okay and the docker uh, demon uh, created docker demon actually created a new container from the image which is downloaded right and also uh, executes the, and also runs the executable that produces the output you uh, running cur currently reading right then um, then the docker uh, daemon stream the output to the docker client so once the executable produces the output that will be streamed and show in the output uh, output to the docker client uh, which is in the your terminal that's why you see here so this is how the <coughs> docker installation can be done on the ubuntu operating system i hope this video is useful uh, we'll see the uh, uh, next uh, video with uh, other uh, docker uh, uh, concepts okay thank you so much friends see you in the next video and also please uh, uh, subscribe my channel uh, data making and view my other uh, uh, videos and playlist in my uh, youtube channel thank you so much friends uh, see you in the next video